Okay. Oh, Mason, I actually wanted to, I wanted to uh, look at this a little bit with you and maybe get some of your, some of your British perspective on this. Do you know who Andrew Tate is? No. Okay. So Andrew Tate, uh, I, I've known very little about him until just recently, and I still don't know that much about him. But apparently this guy is like in the manosphere. You know what that is, right? No. Okay. So the manosphere is basically just this like corner of the internet, this like uh, collection of internet personalities and such, where it's making content for like uh, modern men. And, and the modern problems that men are facing. And a lot of the dudes are grifters as fuck. Like, they are just the biggest fucking scam asshole out there. Uh, there was actually just recently a pretty big deal with one with got a guy named Jack Dorsey, who is just the biggest fucking fraud. So, anyways. So, Andrew Tate is kind of one of these people. I think he, I think he got, got his fame as a kickboxer, if I heard right. And uh, this is a this is a video from Penguin Moist Critical about it about him, and I just want to check it out and, and maybe get some commentary from you because. Coffee huh. New video on Tate's scam. I didn't see Coffeezilla. Coffeezilla posted a new video. Oh, four hours ago. Oh my God. Okay, so the channel is Coffeezilla. Charlie is checking out a channel called Coffeezilla. And I've never heard of this channel, but the, the video he's apparently about to check out is I joined Andrew Tate's cult and it was worse than I thought. <laughs> oh, cults dear. probably always worse than we assume they will be. Yeah. Yeah. Shaking the hornet's nest of the of the Tate enthusiasts. Oh no. The, uh, the top G's. He's got a death wish. He's <laughs> <laughs> got a death wish from Hustler University, also known as Hustlerversity by those of us with the grind set, <laughs> created by this guy. I'm top two. You think you're smart? I bought this coin and it's going up. You could have bought any f coin and it went up in the last year. The Matrix was broken. Hustler University is the greatest Oh, I've actually heard that a lot. The Matrix is broken. What does that mean? I've seen like a lot of YouTubers say that recently. Uh, what there's, is there's so many levels of reaction here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Reacting to this guy reacting to this other guy talking about uh, uh, <laughs> re reaction. Yeah. Ravings of lunacy that I used to, like I would. You know, and I will say, I will say, in my opinion, uh, as someone who's who joined uh, Moist's community of fans uh, sometime this year, and I've watched a lot of his content. I don't see the appeal of him on Twitch. His videos where he pre-records them are the like the level of humor is so much better. And uh, like I think he's a chill dude and I understand why people go to hang out with him for like maybe a social aspect, but as far as like his humor, a lot of his like on-stream live humor is it's just not as good cuz uh, he just doesn't have the time to polish it as much obviously and he's not as good on the fly as me. <laughs> Sorry, at what point did you stop talking about that guy and talking about me instead? <laughs> Mason, I disagree. You're better on the fly than Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting better as we do this more and more. Like those those first few streams, it was it was sketchy because I was like, I don't know what to say and when to say it, and I don't know how wild I can be. But now I'm just like, I can say whatever the fuck I want, and nobody will do anything about it. That's right. Look, there's a guy in his basement. Yeah. <laughs> we can say whatever the fuck we want. Yeah. We're in charge here. We've been running this game the whole goddamn time. Mm -hmm. And there's a shit you people can do about it. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you buy another X Phone Smart Droid product, you're increasing our power exponentially. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Anyway, yes, back to this Andrew Tate yeah. or whatever his name is. I, no, I know yeah. his name before you correct me. I'm just, okay, you're I'm just, just taking silly the mode. Yeah, I'm in silly mode right now. Yeah. The video goes into the matrix being broken. Oh, okay. I'm okay. I'm getting ahead of myself then. 
that exists on the face of the planet for people who are trying to escape the matrix. Become Hustlers University. Welcome to the metaverse. Inject it into your brain. You can skip university, you can buy my program, and I guarantee you, you will know everything you need to know. Have you ever seen a college professor with an S63 and a McLaren and a Lambo and an Aston Martin standing next to me? I know how to make <laughs> I'm your wonderful college that looks like you start. Oh, Mason Dark is spouting that shit at somebody. Oh, that is brilliant. Listen, listen. <laughs> Have you ever seen a college lecturer with a Road Ripper Triple X Titan? No, I don't think you have. <laughs> That's because I'm incredibly successful, and everything I do makes my success grow exponentially so clearly you should listen to me give all of your money to this girl she's clearly wants to be here for you take the leap of faith <laughs> take the leap of faith the only thing you can do to do is be a good guy bob listen <laughs> if you want to get out of the basement you need to feed your knees bob. you need to feed your knees <laughs> Oh God! Hustleversity was started by Andrew Tate. I right? still, it still blows my mind that this became a real thing. I remember, and I think we did it on stream when we were going through the alpha male rabbit hole. I remember we watched Hustler <laughs> University's promotional piece, and all of us were making fun of it. And now people unironically enrolled and bought into it, drank drank the Kool Aid. It's crazy that it actually popped off. That is the power of marketing on TikTok. It yep. does sound inherently ridiculous. Like, if I uploaded a video that was like, Hustle a University, talk to your radio, parody commercial, you guys would be like, oh, I'm all in for this. What's this going to be? Right. right. And what's, what's, oh my God, what's hilarious about this is, I, I'm going to, I'm going to fucking, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to take the leap here. ICP predicted this. Insane Clown Posse predicted this happening. They have a song where it's uh 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 haterators haterators degree. Mm -hmm. uh, it, I can't remember the exact name of the song, but it this guy he goes to uh, a fictional mock institution of learning and gets a degree in hateration. And that was obviously their, their fucking... They were mocking guys like this. <laughs> they were mocking idiots like Andrew Tate. And fucking what happens about fucking all oh, 15 years after that song comes out? An idiot like this actually fucking makes Hustlers University. <laughs> oh my god. It's just... You can <laughs> He's Andrew Tate. You're literally a parody of yourself. <laughs> but not in a good way. But not in a good way. No. You know, need the TikTokers, people will always buy it. It blows my mind. Their promotional piece for Hustler University is still like one of the goofiest ads I think we saw for all the alpha male shit. Oh my yeah, god, let's look at it. Yeah, let's, let's look at it before the video continues so that we can uh, have some context here. Yeah, yeah, let's fucking go check it. So, Andrew Tate, Hustler, you advert. Hustlers University, all right. Okay. All right. Inspirational music, tick box. Mm-hmm. Oh, Morpheus, all the time in my DMs, because I'm trying to wake people up. If the Matrix oh, is my real, God. you are watching this video, I am Morpheus. I am the guy trying to wake you up from sleep. <laughs> I get messages all the time, and the most common message I get from people is, hey, Tate, you know, once I've paid my mortgage off, I think I'll be in a position where I feel more financially free. I feel like, you know what I need? I need a weapon knife like, through the screen. I... What the fuck? You want to learn piano. You find someone who can learn piano, you learn from them, and you start training. To be able to play piano. Well, you want to get rich, yes, Andrew. Find to get rich. What was that? 
when you want to learn something, it is best to find somebody who can do that thing and learn from them, yes. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, but I'm not going to manifest my way into being able to play piano. You know what? I woke up this morning and I decided I'm going to meditate. And by the end of the day, I'll be able to play piano. <laughs> Gosh. Well, you know, okay. What's funny is, though, some kids do just sit down at a piano and start playing, yeah. and they, they just teach themselves piano. That does happen. Yeah. <laughs> you know what they're called? Savants? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this comment was made from a deep place of jealousy. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, this right here takes all the teeth out of this guy's advert right here and screams scam because... Right. Him doing, oh, look, affiliate wins. I've done well over 50000 in sales. <sighs> it's like, oh, this is a cloak for, hey, join my multi-level marketing affiliate marketing scam. Well, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hang on, hang on, hang on. The best part, you missed that, Caitlin. The best part is, okay, a, a layer deeper than that. Brandon on the screen. So this is a Discord server, Mason, on screen right now. And this guy says, Brandon says, I've done well over 50K in sales this year alone running Facebook ads to ClickBank offers. I would post, here's the fun part, I would post screenshots if I could figure out how lol so you're telling me so you're telling me you're smart enough to create a business model that gave you 50k this year right. for doing facebook. nothing for doing nothing essentially that could be entirely automated you're smart enough to put that together but you're too stupid to google how to screenshot right Right. Yeah, that doesn't even make any sense, especially if you've got like um, Facebook ads to run to ClickBank, which have to be automatically set for conversion ads, which are not easy to set up, by the way, because you have to have a pixel. So, yeah, no. Well, I mean, this just, it's the same thing as the Dear Mason thing. This just screams straight away, don't listen to me. The guy's referring to himself as Morpheus. Come yeah. on. Right. Like, right. How, did, how did you watch this and go, yeah, I'll give that guy my money? Right. Mm -hmm. He's he's unironically putting himself in a messiah position. Mm -hmm. It's like, dude, this is so obviously a cult. <laughs> it's just a modern cult. Well, oh, what like, did you do? Watch 10 yeah. seconds of it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're at 45 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Get rich. Right here, right here. This is the brand new way anybody can make money, even if you only have 50 bucks. I guarantee you will make money with this system. Hold on tight, we're about to get rich. Right here, Hustlers University. Yep, and it's like, oh, you wanna know what system that is? To teach what? you how to build one of these things, because that's exactly, exactly what it is. All of these people, the Mickelson twins, that stupid bitch from, um, Fiction Publishing Association, Author Incubator, Jack Canfield and all of his Law of Attraction bullshit. Every last one of them follow the same format of, oh, I'm going to whip everybody into this frenzy of I can get you to make all this money, get you to pay me your money to figure out how to do that, to teach you how to do the same thing to other people right it's not it's not i'm going to teach you how to make money doing a legitimate venture i'm going i'm a scammer and i'm going to teach you how to scam people that really is what it boils down to yes yeah I, i'm going to yeah. get you to give me money and then i'm going to get you to get your friends to give you money to give to me <laughs> right <laughs> It's, it's just a financial pyramid. And and yeah, this the Hustler University, t I guarantee you there's advanced lessons. I guarantee you there's one-on-one -on -one coaching. There's always another step to it to teach you the next fucking trick in this guy's bag. I guarantee it. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, I can't tell you, like, the, the game 
just gets like better toys to play with but i cannot tell you how many stacks of cassette tape cases there were of shit like this that my dad spent hundreds of dollars on you know trying to crack the code to well, it, you know, it's just praying on it's preying on a culture filled with people who live in a system that makes them feel inherently unsatisfied and promises them an easy way to find satisfaction. Yeah. People are going to listen to that. Right. Yeah. Yep. I agree with you. I do agree with you, Mason, because people are no longer told to uh have a god in a meaningful god in their life whether it's a christian god or buddhism i don't care just a me people are told religion's crap and then people are told there's no there's nothing important about family you don't need to have kids or or have a meaningful relationship and then people are told if they're not kissing your ass and constantly enabling you they're not really your friend Right. People yeah. people are constantly being told that all of the actual human genuine sources of organic fulfillment and satisfaction are meaningless. So they turn to bullshit like this. And assholes like this prey on that need. It's fucking disgusting. It's it's <laughs> he, he says in the presence of the agnostic with no married and no children. <laughs> but, but, but you have Lee and you love your mother. You have well, those two. <laughs> hard. I mean, hey, God, good, a good looking woman who lets you sleep with her. It's hard to argue with that logic. <laughs> guides, guides me around town, make sure that I don't bump into things. It's going to be funny. And, 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 no, she, no, she, ne she never lets me bump into things. She's not my mother. <laughs> my mother, on the other hand, finds that shit funny. Oh no! <laughs> oh my God! I just love, I just love that. At the same time, your mother like was ready to throw hands with some asshole teens that were being mean to you, but at the same time, she'll turn around and walk you into a mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my mom. You don't take the piss out of him, but I'll steal his chips without him noticing. <laughs> True story. Last year, I, I went I went round to hers, grabbed some chips on the way there, sat talking to her, eating them. All of a sudden, I hear this giggling. I'm like, what are you laughing at? She's like, I've been stealing your chips, and you have no idea. <laughs> All right, right, we have... Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go on. No, well, no, you go ahead, really. It, it, it's just, it just makes me laugh. The other day, she was like telling me all this stuff about how I look now because I've been like walking around in the sun all all the time, and she's uh -huh. like telling me all this ridiculous stuff about like my tan line and like, oh, your hair's gone ginger and like just all this stuff, that's, <laughs> like you know, clearly not true, like gaslighting me into te yeah. telling me about what my appearance is like. <laughs> She's oh, amazing. I love my mum. She's <laughs> oh, she gaslights me in a humorous way. I love that woman. Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't have the sense of humor I have if it wasn't for her. Mm. <sighs> if I ever come to England, gotta meet your mom. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Oh bullshit! <laughs> I'll invite her. Fuck you! I'll just go around you. I'll find out how to get a hold of her, and I'll invite her to my wedding. She'll come to that. <laughs> what were you saying then, anyway? I was saying we have twenty-eight seconds left. Let's try to finish it. <laughs> okay. makes me really want to hustle some people mm -hmm. right this music it just it just gets inside your brain right. the matrix of my brain is broken and now i want to hustle people oh my god <laughs> uh, yeah uh, it's like uh, yeah you guys all right all, all look the same let's go to let's go back oh damn it i 
Damn it. Okay, hang on. Oh, I've actually heard that a lot. The Matrix is... Bro- what does that mean? Okay. I don't know, Charlie. You tell me. Unironically enrolled and bought into it. Drank, drank the Kool-Aid. It's crazy that it actually popped off. That is the power of marketing on TikTok. If you just put enough money into TikTokers, people will always buy it. It blows my mind. Julie Their loves- promotional piece for Hustlers University is still like one of the goofiest ads I think we saw for all the alpha male shit. So if you oh, have like a startup business or something, challenge. invest in TikTokers. It put put that money, like that marketing budget into TikTok, 100%. And I guess the real question is, how did this happen and why? Well, Andrew attributes his meteoric success to a change in business strategy. I put together a particular strategy about six months ago because I decided to step up. About my- six oh, months <laughs> ago? <laughs> Here's my new business strategy that I came up with six months ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's tried and tested. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And it's like, you know what? Most of these courses will take anywhere from six weeks to six months. That's what that tells you right there. He did the same shit. Yep. The product I launched. Six I run months. all months people how to make money online mm-hmm. i changed my approach towards social media and i ended up absolutely everywhere now if you're wondering what business that is strategy true that is or the program he runs is called hustleversity where he teaches you how to make fast money if you're mm-hmm. only pay 50 dollars a month and one of these fast money methods turned out to be selling hustleversity to new people by posting <laughs> clips yeah. there it is yeah there it is <laughs> That we man, we only had to look this deep to find the pyramid scheme. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh. Are we in Egypt right now? Because I'm being a lot of pyramids. Oh god. Like, it's like Avon. It, it, just yeah, he'll teach you how to make dude. So if you just give him fifty pound uh, fifty pound a month. Oh man. Alright, let's go. Let's yeah, let's keep yeah, adventuring. And it's so it's so smart. The cope on Twitter I see all the time about how it's not an MLM blows my mind. This is literally it works. It's it's pyramid. Yeah. It, it yeah, actually it, it works. Is. Put into an MLM. Like just own it. I mean, just, just fucking own it. You're basically promoting him now. I guess. And that's the that's the problem with Andrew Tate. No matter what you say or what you do, people are going to believe it and get into it every single time. But this is just too interesting not to. I haven't actually seen someone dive deep into Hustlers University past just me. Well, here's the... Uh, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make my point really quick and then you yeah. can go. Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. If you get taken in by a grifter like Andrew Tate, you deserve all the bullshit that's going to happen to you because there's plenty of people out you telling you the guy's a fucking grifter. Mason? Well... The, the problem with that logic is, and I see this all the time with people that are <laughs> reacting to certain people that have yeah. different views and stuff, where people are like, well, you're basically just promoting these people. And it's like, the thing is, the mm. people the people who are going to believe these sorts of things and these sorts of people, they've already made up their mind. They already right. believe it. So you're exactly. not actually turning anybody new. All you're doing is putting your viewpoint out there and the people who don't agree with them get some entertainment out of you not agreeing with them and mm-hmm. the people who are on the fence that might be swayed by the person get exactly you give reasons why they're not good and you might actually mm-hmm. stop the people that are potentially exactly. gonna go down that road yeah that's right that you hit the nail on the head mason and that's why it's worth doing look if you if if you put out a video like what charlie just put out and you get a hundred views, and one of those people is saved from being taken in by a fucking scam artist like this. Yeah. Then, yeah, it's then worth that's the time and effort. It's yeah. worth the time and effort, exactly, because you just did someone a genuine service. Yeah. And Charlie's video has almost three million views. There's probably a good number of people who just recently found Andrew Tate because he's been blowing up the past two two three months, and now they're seeing Charlie's video because they they're indecisive or they procrastinated or they've been trying to do their due diligence, and this is just one of the things they found. And now Charlie has saved a bunch of people from being taken in by this asshole. And look, I'm not saying that lightly either. You know, sca- you know, convincing people to join your online university to as a as a money venture it's kind of shitty 
but it's not the worst thing anyone's ever done. I've heard this guy say legitimately awful shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I've watched clips of him appearing on different podcasts and shit. This guy, when you actually dig into the meat of some of the shit he says, he's a terrible fucking person. <laughs> yeah. And I hate that he and he covers it up by saying some shit that's universally relatable to men in this day and age. Like, it's hard to get a fucking house right now because the economy sucks. And the quality of women that we have access to is much lower than that than what our grandfathers had access to. Legitimate complaints that a lot of men can identify with. And then right after that, he'll say some shit like, I don't care if your kids get I don't care if your kid gets shot. You need to suck it up. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so he's a piece of shit. <laughs> and that's all I have to say about that. One of it. Coffee Villa dissects things that he talks about really well. So I'm super curious to see everything that he learned. So uh, yeah, and on this one, I'm just gonna accept that there's gonna be a few people in chat that for some reason buy into Hustler University. It is what it is, man. I just need I really wanna see the analysis from Coffee Zilla on this. Andrew Tate is the one true savior that will save you from <laughs> Morpheus from the Matrix, and that's not even me calling him that. He calls himself that. I get called Morpheus a lot. <laughs> I, get, I get sure you do, buddy. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. You do. By yourself in the mirror when you do your affirmations, like Jack said <laughs> you to every morning. I just that just that section just reads like a mockumentary. Yes. Like, like just those last few bits, just like yeah, blah blah blah. This guy and he like he calls himself Morpheus a lot cut to him like calling himself what that that reads like a documentary like a mockumentary yeah yeah, Christ. yeah. except except that, like i said except this is a documentary about a real fucking person like yeah it like i said he's a parody of himself he we've we've reached a point in our culture where these these people that 50 years ago it would have this would have been a sitcom character this is now a real fucking person and i'm more he says he wants to wake up. Yeah, sure you are, man. (laughs) All by selling you a program that sounds like what high school dropouts used to put at their education status on Facebook. Attended the School of Hard Knocks and graduated Hustle University with a PhD. (laughs) 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 No, that's a pimp and host degree. (laughs) Okay, we're going to have to check out some of CoffeeZilla's content. Funny. He got... He got his degree from the University of Memphis. <laughs> uh, <laughs> easy money, pimping hoes in style. <laughs> oh, what was the John Cena thing? Oh, uh, man. Cena had something like that. Uh, it's, uh, thugonomics. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. That's right. That's right. Before he sold out to China. <sighs> By the way, I didn't make up. It's a course that... Andrew Tate himself, so but I don't think you want to take it oh, out who's in the middle of a human tr- investigation. Hey. Wait, wait. What? Police raid MAGA, king of toxic masculinity in human trafficking investigation. Oh my god, I didn't even know that! <laughs> I love, Caitlin, I love, Caitlin, I gotta tell you, I love I love when I make crack judgments about people based on what they say, and and, and I'm right every time. Mm-hmm. Like I like they tell you not to do that. So many people say not to make crack judgments based on a few things you hear someone say, but every time I do, I'm right. And now here we are. <laughs> yeah, and and now here you are, sat with me on a live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no. Where here we are, where he's be, where I find out he's being investigated for human trafficking, smartass. Yeah. Well, I mean, cause that's the other thing too. Like what they were talking about, um, him making comments about high value women or whatever. Whenever yeah. I hear that come out of somebody's mouth, it's usually because the person is thinking about how they can turn that woman around to make them money, or they're a cuck. Yeah. It's like, hmm, could I make money off of you? The, yeah. the penis size is exactly opposite proportional to their ego. <laughs> <laughs> For every inch their ego grows, their penis shrinks. 
<laughs> like, and, and also, hey, 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 you know, that, those accusations going to happen to anyone. Was, quote, hey, Andrew does have one undeniable skill. Oh, yeah, it could happen to anyone. I, you know, last year there was that human trafficking case that I got caught up in. The image of that, the racketeering thing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, that was before I knew you. Um, it's what was it when I met you? I, I was in the middle. I was in the middle of the uh, the heroin lab thing. Uh, but I think I think you told me that you were uh, oh gun running. That's right. It was gun running. You you were caught up in when I met you. <laughs> yeah, that and the and the you know the one where I I was uh, getting accused of killing my father and these things just happen. Right. Oh, yeah. didn't they? Didn't they? Didn't they confirm that that was actually the one armed man? No, that it, that was the uh, that was the other one. That was the one who. Um, you know, accidentally locked my mum in the basement for six months. You you were thinking of the toeless woman. The to oh, the toeless woman killed your dad. It was the one man that locked your mom up. Yeah. Okay. God. Yeah. I'd be I'd be mixing characters up in my brain, man. I'm sorry. You know. You know. I'm blonde as shit sometimes. But I thought it was I thought it was the one armed man that usually sneak into people's houses and kill their wives. Uh no, Caitlin. Now you're now you're mixing up. I'm the guy who sneaks into people's houses and smells their dicks. Oh, that's right. <laughs> well, that's, that's funny because I usually break into people's houses and uh, and try to find their attic, but usually I end up in the basement because I have an upside down nose. <laughs> I am gonna have to spend the. I'm gonna have to spend the next three hours of my day clipping this up. There's like ten different videos in this live stream. <laughs> <laughs> the, the team adventurers talk utter nonsense for three minutes. <laughs> I love it so much, though. <laughs> I just love it so much. Oh my god! I just put my mouth on autopilot when I come on these streams. Yes. <laughs> Yes. My mouth is always on. There is no filter between my brain and my mouth, and there never has been. <laughs> like filters are for coffee makers and aquariums. Oh, and and water because the fluoride is bad for you. Yes, that's right. Yes. <sighs> okay. All right. Hey, that, those accusations gonna happen to anyone? Was quote eight. Andrew does yeah. have. One undeniable skill that seems to be responsible for most or all of his success so far. He's just really entertaining. Hey, everyone. Right. I've said that since the get-go. He is the most entertaining clown you can find in the alpha male space. <laughs> yep. It probably worked so well. Between TikTok promotion, the MLM stuff, and just him being so enjoyable to laugh at, it popped him off wild. You think the guys paying for this think it's a joke? I think there's a good balance of people who pay for it, like, ironically, like, haha, I'm part of Hustlers University, and people who actually believe it. Oh, yeah. And I think the believers probably outweigh the, the former. Like, yes. It's sad, but it is what it is. It's the same for every other alpha male we ever looked at. You remember the guy who's a self-admitted cuck? Oh, fuck. We, it's only been a couple months. Oh, that's funny. That's fucking funny. Charlie's talking about the guy that I just mentioned earlier to you, Mason. <laughs> It was, uh, God, what was that fucking asshole's name? The fucking, the thing he would, the, his alpha male fucking community was called the Liminal Order, whatever the fuck that means. Oh <laughs> Big guy, he sells the course on like, so your wife doesn't want to fuck you? That's okay. No, I'm talking about alpha male, bro. Is it Jack Murphy? It is Jack Murphy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 Jack Murphy, right? This guy's he's literally a cuck. But he's also an alpha male. So he's <laughs> teaching you how to be an alpha male. The alpha cock. <laughs> That's the third stage of evolution. <laughs> you got cook, alpha male, alpha cook. <laughs> and there's no in between. <sighs> Pikachu, I choose you. Alpha <laughs> Cook, I choose you. <laughs> Alpha Cook, you cry in despair. It's super effective. 
Oh. oh shit! You know, what I just realized this whole time my mic has been on fucking maximum gain. I've probably blown out the fucking sound on this fucking stream so many times. Well, I mean, so far we haven't had any complaints, so. I mean, that's true. I have, I've literally never put my mic on maximum gain because I think you'd be able to hear what was happening down the street if I did. <laughs> <laughs> Plastic. Well, also being a cover. It's this okay, it's, it's on maximum now. Ooh. We'll find out, won't we? Kind of all look the same, like bald and a beard. Is it this guy? Don't come at me and call me sexist or racist or any of these things. I hate everyone. I don't care if you're black, white, straight. <laughs> I, hate, I hate everyone. How to administer CPR. However, I will not administer CPR unless you're a hot female. If you're some fat dude and you just had a heart attack and I don't really know you. <laughs> I'll really just let you oh die. God. And what's and I actually believe that about this guy. I really do. I I, I will I, only resuscitate you if you're suitably attractive. Because if you're not, I'll just stand there and watch you die. Right. Yeah. I'm Andrew Tate, and I'm an absolute psychopath. Right. Yep. Why is he missing <laughs> for hours straight, bro? I have a lot of muscle. It's it's painful to carry around. It's a two hour massage. People are for fuck's sake. God, I hate that. I hate that he actually gets to say that legitimately because he was just shirtless on that call with those two other dudes, and he was and he was on camera. And actually, he's he does have a lot of muscle. I hate that. I hate that he's actually being honest. Guess what? <laughs> Guess what? I couldn't care less. <laughs> I do. I do. I like. I hate that. <laughs> yeah, but Zach, would you rather be as muscly as you are and a relatively nice person? <laughs> or as mostly as he is, well, an absolute bellend. Well, to, I mean, and in my own defense, I'm only a few. I'm only a, maybe two years away from being where he's at. I'll get there. I, I and actually, I'm I'm gonna have to see if I can find workout footage of him. I'm I'm willing to bet I can lift more. <laughs> well, yeah, and I mean, plus you don't know if he's on sauce or not either. He might be on sauce. His shoulders were disproportionately huge to his neck. Yes. Well, and besides, you're suitably strong. You carry the weight of Team Adventurous on your back every week. That's right. God, ain't that the truth? That you two are heavy. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Not to you know that, and oh, your ego. Oh. It's just unbelievable strength. Oh, oh yeah, my ego oh, is definitely yeah. heavier than both of you guys put together. But but listen, listen, Kate, hang on. Let me real talk here. Uh -huh. Listen, I got to carry you guys around, and you guys are really fucking heavy. But yes. you know what? I never I never set you down. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, honestly, okay, it, isn't it just amazing? Mm. He carries us, his ego, and his giant swinging bull sack. <laughs> <laughs> and that, folks, is the Mason compliment sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> you carry this operation. <laughs> your your ego is heavier than we are. Your dick is huge. <laughs> or your excuse me, not necessarily the same thing. Your balls You're are huge. huge. Pendulum like swinging bowls. <laughs> Mason compliment sandwich, absolutely delicious and nutritionally complete. Part of this balanced breakfast. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> the spicy meat the bones. Yeah, only yeah. only tiny, tiny little bits of razor blade in there. <laughs> just a just, little, just a little rat poison. Yeah, just, it's like there's something that's not quite right with this. Why is my tongue bleeding? <laughs> oh well, it's so tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Well, of course, it's not my ego in there. Of course, it's fucking <laughs> <laughs> And your grapefruit like bowls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I love it. <sighs> is attention. Cloud. Like, oh. The worst thing that's going to happen to Same you thing. is not that you go to jail. The worst thing that's going to happen to you is you irrelevant. Irrelevant. Yep. And this is what separates 
Andrew Tate from a lot of the fake gurus I've covered in the past. Jones and Tate operate sort of on this playbook where entertainment is king. They say a bunch of outlandish statements that builds attention. And then once they're the crazy guy, all they have to do is say a few basic things that everyone agrees with. And then their audience suddenly thinks they're a genius. I mean, that yeah, works for everything, by the way. Oh, my God. I love. Did I not describe that exact? Did I not say that exact same point earlier in this very same stream? Yep. Did I not say exactly that? Yeah. <sighs> oh, man. Fucking bitch. It's all right. I'm just doing the sound of your bowl swinging while you're stroking yourself. <laughs> Uh, it's a, there's a little bit they're they're faster. It's a little bit more of a, a there's a there's a little bit of a whistle to it because they're you know, speed. You you almost whistled there. I yeah exactly because there's almost a little bit of a whistle to the ball swinging exactly. There's, there's eagles that look at you and you're like, they're like oh fuck I wish I had that wingspan. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how long I could glide if I had a fucking wingspan like that? My yeah, that's a pretty impressive sack there. Is that a, is that one of them there hairless apes? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Zach, when he goes on one of his uh, ultra secret spy missions and he needs to escape and he gets oh, to the no. edge of the cliff and there's people chasing him and he just looks at the camera, takes down his pants, <laughs> jumps off the cliff and uses his giant swinging balls as a parachute. <laughs> I fucking, I fucking spread my legs and swing up out. I swing up behind me and then reach up in time to catch. Me. No! And then I fucking no. jump. Not only does it allow him to glide safely down to the beach below, the force of the gale that it causes like pushes all of the guards down behind him as well. <laughs> 20 miles away, and there's someone that's like, quick, get in the hurricane shelter. <laughs> oh, no. At this point, at this point, it's not even like it's Mason isn't even giving me a compliment. We're just giving me like a fucking X-Man superpower here. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is dope. <laughs> not just people. I, this is the same thing with QAnon. Uh, like QAnon has the wildest shit, like believing. JFK Jr. got revived and is still any day now going to cruise around some random corner in fucking Washington and announce his presidency. <laughs> the reason they have so many people is, uh, well, I guess, I guess the big reason is everyone wants to believe something that makes them feel special. But another thing is they also then put in some things that are true. It's like, oh, well, Hang everyone on. wants to believe something that makes them feel special. But another thing is they also then put in some things that are true. Like there's a lot of pedophiles in Hollywood. It's like, oh, well, it turns out there are a lot of pedophiles in Hollywood. I guess QAnon's right about everything else. It just becomes like a gateway. So you right. sprinkle in like little truths yeah. for the lunacy and then yeah. you get people. You, you buy credibility with things that are like true. Mm -hmm. Like the and, bleeding and, ground is awesome. Right. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. then you go into more absurd claims to build the cult. Like uh, Stephanie Meyer did nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the return of the vendetta. <laughs> you thought you were free, didn't you, Stephanie? We haven't oh, mentioned oh. you in months. You thought you'd escaped. You'll yeah. never escape. That's right. We'll always hunt you, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. In your quiet places. In your secret locations. <laughs> With your closest associates, we will hunt you. And we will always hunt find you stephanie because i am the wolf caitlin is the raven and mason is the man in the dark we are hunting you from every angle stephanie and we will not stop we will not sleep we will never give up until we have justice for what you've done to literature stephanie we're coming for you you can Rest, Stephanie. You can wait, but we're hiding in the twilight of your fear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh... 
with threads like these. Yes. <laughs> we'll buy into it. Anything else. Not, it works for more than just like individuals. Everyone knows who Q is, right? Fuck me. I, I've heard so many different reports on who Q is. I couldn't tell you. Is it is it one of like the, the Clintons or something? I, I don't I don't remember. Quentin uh, so yeah. on who Q is. Yeah. It could be fucking anyone. I think that that's what makes society function. I think that's what makes the world function. I think that well, men not knowing who Q is. Children and having families are very, very beautiful. Well, who doesn't agree with that? And he'll talk to like men's issues. He'll talk about how lonely men are. It, okay, okay. See, and this is this is a demonstration that he's a hypocrite. That clip yeah. that just played with Andrew Tate saying saying men and women falling in love and, and forming a family is a beautiful thing. But just the other day, mm -hmm. I saw a clip where he was saying, "If your girl, he he was it was basically to the effect of, if your wife leaves you and you're depressed and you're having trouble getting over it, just get over it." It's like, okay, asshole, so which is it? This is an important thing that mm -hmm. I should care about and desire and want, or it's not really a big deal and I should just get over it when I lose that thing. Which is it, asshole? They're mutually exclusive. Which is it? Right. Yeah. But Fucking see, he's, he's a narcissist. So, yeah. he, you know, he's kind or of... Well, uh, uh, well, he's a narcissist or a sociopath. I don't think he's... well. If he's actually trafficking humans, he is a, so a psychopath because that takes genuine, yes. absolute lack of empathy. Yeah, and, and absolutely no value for human life whatsoever. So if, if he's trafficking people, yeah, he's a psychopath. Yeah, people are things to him. Yeah, which wouldn't surprise me at all. I mean, just the just the existence of his university is indication of that. Yeah, they're all means to an end. They're all means to build up my ever-growing mountain of self-gratification because I'm my own idol, and there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Society told me so. Yeah, it's like, but um, hey, motherfucker, you know, the one who dies with the most toys at the end is still dead. Yeah. And no everyone else gets alive. your kill. Everybody is called Bill, and you all belong in my wallet. <laughs> I thought you were. I thought you were gonna say every. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say everyone else is called Bill, and you all and you all have a place in my skin suit. <laughs> well, yeah, but that would be dark, and I'm just ridiculous. <laughs> oh yeah, Mason never goes to a dark place. Oh yeah, not that I can remember. <laughs> then I do have short-term memory loss, so. <laughs> He's like, I don't remember that. Just keep stabbing. Just keep stabbing. Just keep stabbing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I appreciate the construction of that bit, Mason. That was a step by step, and you just meandered down that pathway to the to the most epic of, of casual conclusions. Oh, <laughs> uh, Oh, yeah, it's sad, man. We're never gonna make it through this video. <laughs> that's the fun. But, oh, I was just oh, I was just about to fucking say that. I paused too late. Yeah, the whole most men not being invisible. You're not invisible. Men feel invisible. This and that. That's everywhere. That's a really big platform for alpha males right now. I see that shit all the time. Oh, I think, uh, what was that? I said this is what we call Barnuming. P.T. Barnum. The theory of P.T. Barnum, where P.T. Barnum basically um, came up with the idea that if you just tell people truths that are generally um, true to all humans on a basic level, then you can align with them and win their trust. You, yeah. you know what I love about us three being on a stream together? Mm -hmm. is that we've got this and we're watching this video and we've got you coming up with these like genuinely relevant, pretty intelligent points talking about the theory of P.T. Barnum. I'm uh -huh. sitting here thinking, do you not think this guy sounds like the dude who bangs Stifler's mum in American Pie? <laughs> <laughs> you 
And here's me in the middle having equal proportions of both of those thoughts and, and loving and loving being in the middle of the dynamic. <laughs> Someone came along at some point and just removed all the serious bones out of my body and now I have none left. <laughs> You need a serious bone? I can put one in. Mm. It'll cost you though. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't have an uh, orifice big enough. No homo. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Wait, did we get a comment that said no homo? No, I just said no homo. Oh, okay. I was like <laughs> Brilliant. All right. Tell me he doesn't though. Tell me he doesn't sound like the dude who banged Stifler's mom. Uh, which guy? Which guy? The the dude we're watching, uh, Charlie. Um. Oh. You know, I can kind of see it. Mm-hmm. Kind of. It's been big on like all men feel invisible now. Like that that shit is all over the place. So it's like true. all of them kind of regurgitate the same points because it's really effective. This mm-hmm. is the truth masculinity right it's very easy for women to sit here and complain about the top two percent of men because i met with that with this guy he's arrogant blah 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 most men don't even exist they send ten thousand dms and never even get read let alone replied to and so this makes it so that many oh no people... i sent dms to women and they didn't read them however will i exist i mean okay Okay, you're taking the piss on it, but genuinely, for some guys, that is crushing, man. Like, you can't take a shit on that. Like, for some guys, they spend, you know, all this time and energy trying to form a human connection, and people ignore them for whatever reason, especially women online. And if you're awkward socially because whatever reason, and half your life is online, that's where you're going to try to make human connections, and you want a human connection with a female, it's tragic. It really is sad for these guys, and it's not always their fault. Like I said, there's a large societal component here. I, I genuinely have sympathy for those guys. It's yeah, and I, I see where you're coming from. I say it all the time to Lee that I'm I'm so glad that we made friends and just like sort of fell into this place that we're into because I don't know how I would deal with like the traditional dating world or whatever. At the same time, in a situation like that, people don't owe you shit. Unfortunately, that is also true. Just, just because you are whoever you are, whether you're like a man or a woman looking for dating, if somebody sends you a DM and they're trying to reach out to you, you are not obligated to read that DM just to make them feel good. That is true, and that's the shitty reality of it. Two things can be true at once. You know, oh, these, yeah. these guys, guys out here have it rough. I know. I was in the same boat for a while. I actually have been single most of my adult life. So I've spent many, many years cumulatively in that boat. And also, and also it's, you know, women aren't obligated to give you the time of day. Yeah. It sucks. <laughs> it just does. Yeah. No, I agree. And I, I just Fine. also think that it's just kind of sick. The fact that he's playing on the fact that, so many people don't feel seen or heard or whatever. Yeah. It's like that is the easiest, laziest fish in a barrel you could go for. Well, but, and see, but see, but here's the problem. It's, it's more true now than ever before. Yeah. Yeah. It really is more true. Like we're living in a unique time in human history. Yeah. because of social media and the current state of the culture in western civilization yeah. that has largely erupted because of social media right it like we really are in a unique time and there are a unprecedented number of young men i'd say between like 35 and and 15 who just feel like they are more invisible than air and yeah. they have, and like i said it's perfectly legitimate so With the DM thing, if you actually break that down into like, if you take it back in time, the DM thing is weird because it's like, it's sort of, it's seen as acceptable because it's the internet and it's just how it works. But it's like, if you take that back in time, it's like finding out where all the women live in your neighborhood and going around and posting a letter. 
hey, would you like to talk to me? Mm-hmm. You're not going to get a letter back for the most part because people mm-hmm. are going to be like, why is this letter coming through my letterbox? <laughs> and it's just a weird thing about the internet is that we all feel like connected and mm-hmm. we are, but there's also the societal factor to it that it's just like if you break things down to what they would have been in the past sometimes Mm -hmm. it's just like right okay yeah but also back during the time when you know when it was like say okay 40s and like 40s and 50s if somebody were to get a letter from someone you know kind of like that they would have at least you know more likely have responded to it. That that depending is the content. Depending yeah. on the content, yeah. Obviously, yeah, obviously depending on the content. But assuming the content was reasonable, you know, there was a and and I believe this should come back. There was a culture of social responsibility. And part of that social responsibility is the basic courtesy of responding to people when they contact you. Because right. to ignore people is dehumanizing. And I hate mm-hmm. to admit it. I've done it. Especially I do it to homeless people on the street when they ask me for money. I just walk right the fuck by them. Yeah. But that's also a matter of safety, if I'm being honest, because the homeless mm-hmm. people around here are dangerous. And that's yeah. not an exaggeration. So it really is dehumanizing as fuck. When someone contacts you, and this does not apply, obviously, like you said, Mason, depending on the content. If this guy sends you a dick pic, block him. Or better yet, screenshot it and send it to his mom and wife. Right. But if he sends you a reasonable message like, hey, we were in this comment thread together, and I saw your profile picture, and I looked at your profile really quick, and you seem like a chill person. Can we talk? There's nothing unreasonable about that. Right. And I don't think uh, I don't think it's very kind or courteous or mm-hmm. or or moral. I'll, I'll go even that far. It's not moral for women to just flat out ignore the guy. If, yeah. if, you, if you want to respond with sorry, not interested and then block him, mm-hmm. that's more moral and is better for the man's mental health than to just be ignored. Yeah. It genuinely is. So, right. ladies, if you don't want to talk to him, at least do him the courtesy of sorry, not interested. Yeah. Acknowledge that there are. It would save a lot of men. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Acknowledge that they're a person and, you know, that they spoke to you. Or, like a lot of these entitled bitches on TikTok and their gym videos, you know, like the one we saw the other day about the, you know, the dude that asked her if she was using the other machine. And then yeah. she just like gave him the most disgusted face, and you yeah, know. That, yeah, that was over on uh, Courtney Ryan's channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she was talking yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, yeah. Was his approach awkward? Should he have waited till you were on your rest period? Yes. Is the way you treated him totally dehumanizing and rude? Also, yes. Also, yes. Yeah, because you could have just said no and been done with it. Yeah, you kill. Uh, and 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 here and from another angle, from another angle, as someone who streams his workouts as a fitness influencer, uh huh, I have an obligation to not be an intrusive asshole when I'm in the gym. I set up my camera angles so they're not unduly focusing on other people. Mm-hmm. I try to keep my camera equipment out of the way. And when people speak to me, and it's weird, ever since I started streaming my workouts, yeah. a lot more people speak to me mid-workout. It's like, it's gone from like zero in a month to like 10. Mm-hmm. I'm always extremely courteous to them. Not only because it's good for my, you know, because it looks good, but also mm-hmm. it's just the fucking right thing to do. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, she, that girl. Yeah. Got the, yeah. Yeah. Mason, any thoughts before I hit play? <laughs> nope. Okay. Who's <laughs> just crazy. They don't see the full con that he's running because the crazy is only half of the game. Because mm-hmm. eventually people hear the other half, the basic stuff that's obvious, and go, well, it's not just tough totally life. Crazy. Yeah. And people just eventually kind of go down the Tate rabbit hole where they think, you know, maybe I can leave the Matrix and get girls, Jets, and Bugattis. Maybe I just need to become financially 
mm-hmm. how do I do it? Who's oh, looking at Hustler oh, University? Yeah. Hustle University. <laughs> mm-hmm. so we can see hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to read Andrew, t- there's a fucking little fucking thing on here for uh, a description. It's probably, this has got to be on his website. Tate, and then, then there's a picture. What? Why is his fucking logo a knight from chess? Why isn't it the king? Whatever. Hustler University 2.0. Andrew Tate's Hustler University 2.0 is an exclusive community where me and dozens of my successful professors will teach you exactly how to make tons of money online. Mm -hmm. Once inside, you will have access to our full resources lesson plans, and everything you need to be successful in our course in e-commerce. Freelancing, copywriting, digital marketing, sales, personal finance, stocks, cryptos, NFTs, and more! Lock in your price of of, of, (laughs) of 49 (laughs) by signing up today. Gosh. Okay, that was pretty good. Yeah. Drop the, let's drop the energy a little bit and get a little bit more sinister inflection into it. And it'll be perfect. Mm-hmm. I swear. <laughs> Gosh. Tate University. Hustler University 2.0 is an exclusive club. Right. Right. Where okay. me and a lot of my friends make tons of money. And we will teach you how to make tons of money with all the bullshit things that he said that I can't be bothered to go through and much more. <laughs> yeah. 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 Or, you know, we can repack this and slap the name Nick Stevenson on it and pretend like we're going to teach you how to sell books. Well, Dave Conman, who's here to tell you the biggest secrets. <laughs> Hustleversity so we can see why Hustleversity is on the one hand so popular despite being so bad because otherwise this whole video is anticlimactic and confusing because when I first joined Hustleversity I thought it's got to be different right it's it, to have this many people paying every no, it's just, month yeah it's marketing you did a good job have of it. things that you just can't learn for free right right once again, I'm disappointed. He assigns a so-called professor to each skill, and all of this all takes place inside of Discord servers. And Wait, so what? in these chat rooms where your instructors have a fraction of the charisma- You're paying $50 a month for a fucking Discord. No, I had no idea. I thought it was gonna be like actual courses, like a like master class or something. Even Ninja- <laughs> oh, put- oh, What about this made you think that? You're paying $50 right. a month for a Discord. Holy shit! That's worse right. than being a Discord mod. That's literally being that's you. You are paying. You you are paying to be an actual like shit stain on a piece of toilet paper. <laughs> oh yeah. And that's a lot worse than I thought. Fifty dollars a month. Shitting for a all over the Patreon model. There. Wow! Wow! Oh my God. He's, not, he's not even using Zoom. You can use Google Hangouts. Why would he use Zoom? Discord's free. Right, exactly, exactly. But it just tells you just how much money he's actually putting back into his business. Right, oh yeah, this is 100% a milk them dry and and when I'm finally found out, take it and run model. I wouldn't be surprised if if the human trafficking investigation ramps up Mm -hmm. if he just jumps ship and leaves the country to a a non-extradition country. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised at all that. Yep, he's, he's got one like, of them oh. Jason Bourne bag of, uh, of, <laughs> of alternate mm-hmm. passports. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He's like, bye, I'm going to Switzerland. <laughs> hey, Biggie stuff. At the very least, you should at least hold Tate to a higher standard. Like, hey, man, instead of just a Discord server, why can't we have, like, you know, a more professional curriculum? Like, everywhere else. Tate. Well, there's, okay, there's a difference between being desperate and being manipulate. Well, oh, no, there's absolutely not. He's manipulating desperate guys. There's a, different tiers of desperation. There's self-aware desperate people and people who get brainwashed because they're desperate, I would say. Like, you have to be on a different... Uh, inarticulate, but he's on to the right to point. ...to fall for a $50 Discord. 
well, fifty dollars a month Discord. Like not every desperate guy is gonna be, you know, scratching at the neck to be part of the Hustler University Discord. I mean, think about it. You've been told you're gonna escape the matrix. You're gonna take the red pill and you go to discord doing this course is sort of (laughs) how to run an amazon side hustle for jeff bezos like no offense you're not breaking the matrix you work for the richest guy in the world like imagine morpheus gives neo the red pill and says hey have you ever day traded before (laughs) (laughs) do you know what bitcoin is Neo, let me tell you about my NFT project. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now, now Neo, you need to go away and our next meeting I want you to bring two friends. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yep. And if and if they sign this little packet, okay, when you bring them, I will give you this free toaster. <sighs> and if they bring okay. friends, it'll be a Japanese toaster. The one that you can fuck? Yes. <laughs> it doesn't stop there either. Like, like they have this cash quadrant of time and cash where you're either time poor or cash poor, time rich, cash poor, cash rich, time poor. You get the idea. Um, and what they define really? cash rich as is very telling. They define it as having $5,000. Which, by that definition, no, Madison, I'm proud to say, <laughs> five grand is yeah. cash rich. Yeah, I mean, okay, if you're putting it in the context of this is this is all the funds you could possibly need to begin using our model of business and be successful. Okay, by that definition, fine, cash rich makes sense. But uh, I don't, you know, well. still. Yeah, if you actually think about it, so he want he it's fifty dollars a month for twelve months, so that's just over five grand a year. <laughs> and coincidentally, five grand is what you need to be cash rich. That's weird. That's a weird coincidence. That. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Damn it. I accidentally muted. Oh no. <laughs> I'm cash rich. Now guys, wait, like in total? That is so different from the the pitch. I imagine most dudes who buy into this have to have $5,000 total. It's $50 a month. That is such an expensive item. This makes no sense. The lifestyle we've been sold on here is exotic Bugattis, not extra Starbucks biscottis. <laughs> 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 Bars police. Olive lamp. Bars police. Bro, we should do an episode of Bars police after this. Yes. By the, by, oh God, yeah. I miss doing that. Lamborghinis, and they're sort of getting Olive Garden fettuccine. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Olive Garden fettuccine. <laughs> Discord. So oh. Lamborghinis, and they're sort of getting Olive Garden fettuccine. <laughs> so you break that down into a, a battle rap bar and he's like I'm driving around in, <laughs> in brand new I'm Lamborghinis driving. you can barely be- afford to play. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm driving right. around in a brand new Lamborghini you can barely afford Olive Garden fettuccine yo I got the flavor I got all the spices you don't got the original recipe <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm driving around in a Bacardi. You can barely afford Starbucks biscottis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mama's spicy meat to ball. You got no balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's great. <laughs> I could use my nut sack as a parachute. You're a unit. <laughs> It's not even a bar. I'm just insulting you. (laughs) (laughs) I'm a spicy meatball. You're as about as bland as a snowball. Oh my god. Nah, you're 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 as vanilla. (laughs) I'm a spicy meatball. You're as vanilla as a snowball. (laughs) 
<laughs> Look, everyone, Vanilla Ice trying to rap again. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> it's low because he wants people to feel like alphas. That's a really good point. I suppose that's probably like the play. Maybe you get someone who's a little skeptical, like I'll do $50 one month and I'll probably cancel, but they join and they're like, oh, I have $5,000. Okay, so I'm, I'm cash rich and I'm surrounded by a supportive community. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, now I feel like I'm part of the crew, part of the ship. So then they stay. Maybe that, I mean, that could be the play, I guess. Well, that's just the so passive subscription there. model. That's literally what, like, Netflix, like, relies on. Like, mm-hmm. people signing up for a month. I'll sign up for a month and I'll try it, and then they just forget to delete it. Yeah. yeah. It's not only that. You know, a lot of the shit, a lot of the shit they're teaching people does genuinely work if you have a little bit of startup cash for ads and whatever fucking accounts you have to make that are paid accounts. And you actually apply the model. It does work. Yeah. So these people, they get sucked in and then they start applying it. Because why the fuck would you do it and then not apply it? And they're like, oh, I've actually started to make a decent passive income. Okay. And then, and yeah, at that point there, at that point, they have confirmation bias. <sighs> the information, they're there more for the community and the feeling, which is even sadder, to be honest. Yeah, because you can get that same feeling for free. Like, there's always going to be a community of people just like you. Like, you're not special. Whatever your interests are, you're going to find a million people with those interests, and you guys can be friends. Wrong. Like, and it's free. <laughs> you just have to find them. You don't not if you're me, Charlie. Not friends. if you're me. At that point, <laughs> join a frat. Unless you consider being cash rich, having $5,000 total in your bank account, then this course doesn't seem to be getting people rich. It just teaches lost guys extremely basic skills that are free to learn, but charges them $50 a month for it so they can feel like they're escaping the matrix by working for Jeff Bezos. You barely see Tate at all. He claims to be teaching the secrets to modern wealth creation, but the reality is, from what I saw, he was too busy marketing to actually be present in the Discord. Yeah, I mean, obviously. you just had all these random people teaching you, like, e-commerce or freelancing or copywriting and investing. And that's why I decided to finally cancel my plans to become cash rich. And that's when I found out about the last trick Tate uses to get you to stay. Anyone who messes this up, annoys a professor, doesn't renew their subscription, their card cancels, any stupid then you're going to regret it for a very long time because there's simply nowhere else to go. That's right. They tell you there's nowhere else to go besides university. This is the only place where you're going to learn not to be broke. I had done straight up threatening. Yeah, that's that's straight up. That's straight up uh, taking someone emotionally hostage. You're using fear of missing out to hold them emotionally hostage. That is genuine manipulative bullshit. That's what Mm -hmm. crazy abusers do. Yeah. Yeah, you'll you'll never leave me because who else are you going to go get with? Exactly. Exactly. Make that shit. Turn that exact fucking sentiment from a partner to another partner. You have a narcissistic abuse pattern. This guy's a piece of shit. Yeah. President, but I resubscribe the next month. I don't believe that. I don't believe you. And I also think if you <laughs> were a member of Hustlers University for a month and you didn't make enough money to buy your mother a birthday present, you f***ed up. So you're probably going to end up kicked out. Like their two responses <laughs> are, that's not true. Okay. And, and if you don't succeed using what we teach you, it's your It's your fault. fault. It's your fault. You're not good enough. We yeah. didn't fail you. You can't make the grade. Um, right. fucking course. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I will tell you straight up in a sales call with one of the little cronies for um, uh, Dr. Loria's author incubator, whatever. Because um, I was picking her brain about their like, um, online marketing stuff because that's right. one thing you can use those things for um but she was telling me about how they had a person who ended up like maxing out all of their credit cards and ending up homeless basically because you know they just didn't believe in their own potential for success well yeah that's how that's how all people end up homeless isn't it <laughs> It's like, 
They just didn't. They just didn't try hard enough in life. Yeah, and I have to now say this in a super real, like, take the piss voice because I don't want anyone clipping this out and making it sound like I'm being serious. <laughs> Just wow. Yeah. I, I, I will never, I don't understand how you can sit there and you're like, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fuck these people out of the money they need to live. Right. And I'm going to sleep fine at night. I will never get it. You are so. Ask, ask the government, they'll tell you. <laughs> 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 there it is. <laughs> and if it is, it's your fault anyway. Who is this guy? I've seen him in a few clips now. All he usually does is put Tate's meat in his mouth. Who is he? Is he like one of the gurus? Is he on like All he usually meat? does is puts Tate's meat in his mouth. Yep. He's the royal asswipe. He's the royal asswipe. I love it technique or something for like behind the dumpster transactions who is he is his brother? <laughs> oh, that makes so much more sense now okay that makes so much sense this behind guy... the dumpster transactions <laughs> oh that puts such a dirty disgusting connotation on it oh god it's so true <laughs> only parrots what tate says or well, like andrew says or reinforces it or says outlandishly stupid shit and you have to understand that for the people actually in the course they're like deathly afraid of missing a payment because they've been told that if they do guess where they're going that's right straight back in the matrix in jail they call it we don't kick you out <laughs> we put you in the jail and you sit there in your cell and you have no access to the money making information <gasps> and we just flood you with all the endless wins every time someone wins no i mean andrew tate ha wow that's they, that's you, dark as fuck you get to stay in the discord server but they put you in a channel that's and they lock you out of all the other channels and they just and they only post other people's success stories in the channel that you're locked in in the server Ladies and gentlemen, this is actual cult behavior. Yeah. This right. is genuine cult behavior. We don't kick you out because then you'd stop giving us money. So we keep you in the cult. You can carry on giving us your $50 a month, but we'll put you in this place where you can't do anything and all we'll do is show you other people's success. What the well, fuck? Well, well, no, 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 no. You got one thing wrong there, Mason. That They put you there if you don't pay the $50. Yeah. Uh, okay. I thought it was if you didn't make enough money. No, no, yeah. If you stop paying the fifty dollars, they put you. They put you in the jail. Wow, this is fucked up. I haven't reinvented anything. Four hundred dollars a month. It more sick, but the result is the same as ever. Where the real person getting rich, truly rich, is Andrew Tate. You're wrong. You're fucking poor. Nice. That was pretty insightful i can't believe it's 50 dollars a month for a discord server i don't know why anyone's surprised if i'm paying 50 dollars a month for a discord server it better be it, it better be one room is all the local orgies are here another room better be like all the best places to get high quality cocaine are here another room it better be like by the way your dad isn't actually dead here's where you can find it like 50 dollars a month for a fucking discord server are you kidding me that last one is just it's tragically funny it's like <laughs> it's funny but there's so many hidden feels there too and it's just oh. <laughs> when you find yes especially when you find out my dad is actually dead <laughs> yeah well that's why that's why it's so sad but how uh, is that, that sad that and so funny at the same time i hate you because, because i'm the jester my friend that's <laughs> just it, who i am you know what this video has made me realize I could I could see if I just tried a little bit harder. And really, I'm only blind because I just don't believe in my own potential. No, nope, you don't believe in your potential for success, man. Yeah. Let me let me just uh let me just concentrate really hard for a second. No, I still can't see. <laughs> it really it really, it's just like, it's the most insidious 
kind of behavior. It, it's genuine cult leader shit. He's preying on a group of people who are demoralized, hopeless, and a lot of these people, the reality is that right now, a lot of the guy he's pandering to go on to commit suicide. Yeah. And that's the oh, group he's pandering to. What was that? I said, I said for fuck's sake, because I was I had a joke queued up and then right right at the end when you said the <laughs> So right up until the bit where you were like going to commit suicide, I was going to be like, so it sounds like Stephanie Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> and then you said the suicide bit and I couldn't make the joke anymore, but then I made it anyway. So it's fine. Yeah. Well, but, but here's a funny little thing about that. A lot of the people who read the Twilight series carved Edward's name into their arm. So same thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, legit knew a girl who. Ended I'm not up... even fucking. Yeah, I'm not fucking around. That was a that was an internet trend. It was all over Tumblr. Yeah, yeah, legit knew a girl who got sent home from school because she took an eraser, like pencil eraser, mm-hmm. and like burn tattooed it onto her forearm. Does it, wow. does, what prompted that? Does Bella do that in the books? I don't remember that. No. no, no. Teenage girls are just insane. But yeah. not like in a fun way like I am, like My in God. a weird female way yeah. that I yeah. don't fully really understand because my madness goes deep, but my madness is also distinctly male. <laughs> her name is Hysteria, and we don't like her. <laughs> Uh, I, I, rather, I don't know why Coffeezilla surprised Andrew Tate was never there. He openly hates the people that buy his program. He yep. literally insults you. It's like a like a humiliation kink. He openly insults you. It's not tough love. He just actually doesn't like you. You, you are his pay pig. It's a, it's a far cry from tough love. He'll sprinkle in like a couple truths here, like men feel invisible. It's not good to feel invisible. You need to feel better. Uh, you can feel better by taking care of yourself first and foremost. It's like, oh, it's kind of true. And it's like $50 a month. And I'll show you how to do some drop shipping, I guess. Oh, yeah, I know. 110,000 students is big. No, it's fucking big. Andrew Tate makes 66 mil a year from this shit if everyone pays $50 a month. Yeah, no, it, it's a super successful hustle. He did what all the other alpha males did, but did it smarter by being like a punching bag. Like, obviously, he's in on the joke. He knows he says the most outlandish shit, like Coffeezilla mentions, and then sprinkles in enough truth where people hear about him for being insane. Then they'll hear some truth and be like, huh, maybe I'm going to check that out. And then they buy into $50 a month. Huge profit. And since you're only paying $50 for a Discord server... It's pure profit. He has no overhead. Maybe he has to pay a couple of the gurus that he got from Fiverr, but that's so <laughs> negligible. It is straight <laughs> profit. And there's the MLM component where you get rewarded for recruiting people to Hustlers University. This is an absolute money, money printing farm on the back of some real desperate sad dudes. And they are brainwashing themselves on Twitter with the most cope I've ever seen. It's fucking genius. It's super yeah. smart. He did it exactly how you would or how you should if you're trying to make a ton of money with no morals. I'll give you some free advice. Don't get your like life experience online. Don't get your social skills through tutorials on YouTube. Unless it's Jordan Peterson and right. even Crowder. Those two men, yes. <laughs> Don't make your identity something online, like your, like your whole personality. The internet's a great resource for information, but you should never base your personality on what people tell you to do. That's the mistake exactly. I made in college. When I went to college in my freshman year, I got all of my like social advice from Reddit. And you know what happened in my freshman year of college? I dressed, well, my dress wasn't like the biggest problem, but it was pretty bad. I dressed like... <laughs> like a fucking anime character and I acted like a mysterious anime character. I didn't talk to anyone because I was convinced that being mysterious and not being like super open was a cool thing. But instead I scared everyone away from me. I was completely lonely and fucking miserable. You can't, there are just things you can't be taught by people online or communities online. I don't even remember what came over me, but going into my sophomore year, I recognized how miserable I was. And I was like, there's something's got to change. I mean, something's got to give here. So going into my sophomore year of college, I signed up to room with random people. I was like, I need to be on campus. I need to be around social people. I need to experience life from outside of the computer and what they tell me. So I got random roommates and they turned out to be the popular kids around campus for the most part. So nice. they took me under their wing. I was their clay and they were the sculptor. I learned all of my social skills through them like a sponge. 